The Masters in Management, Cooperatives, and Credit Unions Program Turns 20 by John McNamara Published in Grassroots Economic Organizing, October 16, 2023 On September 22, students graduating with either a graduate diploma or a Masters in Management, Cooperatives and Credit Unions, or MMCCU, were greeted with boisterous whoops and feet stomping from the twelve faculty of the program, who joined the chancellor, dean, and about ten faculty from St. Mary's University at convocation. It was a relatively rare occurrence for the program, and the special moment was created through a two-day celebration of the program's 20th anniversary and the first in-person faculty retreat since 2019. The first day of the two-day event kicked off quite appropriately at the Glitter Bean Cafe. This worker co-op coffee house also has a collective bargaining agent through SEIU Local 2, and one of Glitter Bean's members also works with the ICCM. Participants then joined a walking tour to learn about other co-ops in Halifax, such as the Bus Stop Theater, a circus co-op, and a mental health cooperative. Over the last decade, Halifax has seen a blossoming of new cooperatives, but has traditionally had relatively few co-ops, given the presence of the ICCM and the Cody International Institute in its midst. The International Center for Cooperative Management offers management education in a multi-sectoral format that brings managers from producer, worker, and consumer co-ops and credit unions. The students learn together and share their models of cooperation. The result is a dynamic and engaging educational program that creates a unique management paradigm for the cooperative enterprise model. Antigonish Roots The Cooperative Management Education Cooperative, or CMEC, created the master's program, which eventually grew to become the International Center for Cooperative Management, or ICCM but it is part of a much larger legacy that reaches all the way back to pre-Depression Maritime Canada and the work of two Jesuit priests, Moses Cody and Jimmy Tompkins. Their work focused on adult education of co-op-centric business practices. They encouraged people to claim control of their economy. The community of cooperatives that they supported became known as the Anti-Ganish Movement, Cody believed that it was vital for the men and women in the economically downtrodden communities of Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, and elsewhere to gain control and become masters of their own destiny through the cooperative model. They operated under the slogan, Tu peux le faire, You can do it, which is reminiscent of the more widely known people's movement slogan, Si se puede. There is a short documentary on the topic. You Can Do It, the story of the Antigonish movement, produced by Seabright Productions. For the purpose of this discussion, however, it is important that Cody came to understand that the work of educating co-op workers and the building of a co-op-centric management model could only happen if the students could study in their home while continuing to work for their co-ops. Cody went on to work with St. Francis Xavier University as director of the Extension Department, which eventually became known as the Cody Institute, which promoted cooperative education on a global scale at the time it was formed, and now continues as a department that supports social and economic inclusion via cooperative, community-led, and inclusion education more broadly. In the early 2000s, the incumbent director of the center created by Cody, Tom Webb, was meeting with a colleague and legendary cooperator, Sidney Pabahushi, to commiserate over the problem with the co-ops in the maritime provinces in Canada and how they just seemed to not understand the co-op difference. This conversation led to Tom's solution to the dilemma that Cody faced so many decades ago. New technology, allowing real-time and asynchronous online education, could allow a master's program to reach co-op managers in their homes, and allow them to immediately apply lessons in their co-ops. Tom Webb researched the project, raised $1 million, and prepared a proposal for St. Francis Xavier. As he told the audience at the reunion, After 16 months of review, we were told by the dean that we could have six credits and no more. Well, six credits isn't a master's program. 
Shortly after receiving the bad news, he was contacted by a professor of business at St. Mary's University, John Shamard. Shamard encouraged him to bring the program proposal to SMU. At their meeting, Tom noticed a poster of Che Guevara on Shamard's wall and asked how he got away with that in a business school. Shamard reportedly said, Most of them don't know who he is, and the ones who do like him. A partnership was born. A Revolutionary Education Program The Master of Management, Cooperatives, and Credit Unions, or MMCCU, program was revolutionary in its approach. CMEC would inform the curriculum and provide support to the program staff, who in turn hired the faculty to ensure that the educational focus remained squarely on managing cooperatives within the construct of cooperative values and principles. This meant that faculty might not be members of the SMU faculty, but they would be faculty who understood the cooperative difference, and because of the online structure of the program, these experts could be engaged from locations around the world. Needless to say, this new idea faced a hurdle in gaining support from the faculty, but with strong support from Shamard and other SMU faculty, such as Sonia Novkovich vigorously defending the program at the faculty council meetings, the program development proceeded. In addition, the SMU president J. Colin Dodds supported the program, having learned firsthand of the value of the cooperative model during his childhood in the UK as part of a coal miner family recovering from the devastation of World War II. The first year of instruction was launched in 2003. In time, the entity that housed the program was formally named the International Center for Cooperative Management, which better captured the wider breadth of activities, degree programs, online certificates, executive education, research, publications, webinars, and more. Today, CMEC has 81 members, both organizations and individuals, from 11 countries. Its role is to ensure that co-ops have a say in how the educational programs operate, and CMEC members continue to engage their employees in the programs, and also support the bursary fund that allows access to the programs to many deserving, yet perhaps under-resourced, cooperative employees. How the Program Works and Adapts In the early years of the MMCCU, students studied for four years. Now they study for three years part-time. To begin, students arrive in Halifax, Nova Scotia for a week of orientation, They meet with each other, engage in team building, learn the online education tools, and how to use the library. They also get the chance to socialize, meet some of the faculty, and hear from co-op leaders. The students then spend their semesters reading about co-op management and engaging with each other and the faculty online. About halfway through the program, the students in the master's program meet in person again on a field study to either Mondragon, Spain, or Emilia-Romagna, Italy, to study the extensive co-op systems in those regions. After finishing coursework in the third year, students then have roughly six months to complete a final research project on a topic of their choosing related to cooperative management. While the coursework is delivered online, efforts are made to keep the sense of community within the cohort through planned discussions and debates, live sessions, and live presentations from guest speakers. Further, many of the assignments are designed to assist students immediately in their work as co-op managers. This creates a value to the education that expands beyond the individual student to the participating cooperative. It is a democratization of the educational process that too often is transactional and individualistic in nature. Students in the ICCM programs do not just improve their knowledge and marketability as workers, they also improve their cooperative knowledge base and, by extension, its marketability of the cooperative difference. The program has made 19 four-credit study tours, 10 to Mondragon and 9 to Emilia-Romagna. Today, the major difference between the graduate diploma and the master's degree is the study tour and the final research project as well as the additional courses in other business disciplines within a co-op context. However, those who have the graduate diploma can complete the master's later, should they choose. 
The master's program started unconventionally. Sonia Novkovich, an original member of the faculty and the third academic director, said it, quote, started like no other program. It looks like no other program, and it operates like no other program, end quote. To date, the master's, diploma, and certificate programs have engaged over 330 students and graduates from over 160 organizations in 12 different countries, including six continents. Over the years, courses have been amended, retired, and added based on perceived changes in management practices and issues, as well as direct feedback from students, alumni, and sector partners. The ICCM also shortened the time from four years to three years by continuing courses over the spring semester, and the field trip moved from October to the spring months. ICCM also added a certificate program which includes the courses taught in the first three semesters. Certificate holders can also return to complete the master's should they choose, and they are all encouraged to do so. ICCM staff strive to make the program accessible to all co-op managers and workers who are interested in participating. In addition to the SMU coursework, the ICCM has also expanded to include special educational events. The center has conducted six symposia on special topics for cooperatives, a two-day conference leading to the first International Cooperative Summit in 2012 for the UN International Year of the Cooperatives, and a number of non-degree study tours. Since 2018, ICCM has joined the NCBA CLUSA Impact Conference with a one-day pre-conference executive management course on special topics. Canada DE, the Credit Union Development Education Leadership Program, was created as a special program to assist credit union professionals. It has graduated 162 participants, created 20 mentors, and reached over 100 organizations in 18 countries. Non-degree international experiences included study tours to Cuba, a study tour to Croatia, a special summer course on cooperative law in Croatia, and in 2024, ICCM will lead a co-op study field trip to Costa Rica. The Cooperative Difference A through line for all of the courses and programs is the cooperative difference. The ICCM has constructed a paradigm called the Cooperative Enterprise Model, or CEM. In this model, a cooperative business is more than simply meeting the transactional needs of its members, good jobs, access to goods and services, or access to market. The CEM understands cooperatives as human-centric, purpose-driven, and democratically governed organizations that meet members' needs but also connect in the spirit of the cooperative identity to build strong, healthy, and resilient economies and communities while also protecting the environmental resources that these communities and all life depend upon. Alumnus and faculty member Urban Crowell notes, quote, In this economy, people are hungry for alternatives. The cooperative business model offers a different approach to business, one based in community, democracy, and sustainability. ICCM's programs give co-op managers the tools they need to innovate and succeed. I can't speak highly enough of these programs. End quote. This requires a unique style of management that considers the many key stakeholders in every decision, members, workers, families, the general public, and the earth. Whether the course focuses on people management, accounting, technology, or supply chains, the goal will always be to consider how cooperative values and principles should guide management decisions to create the cooperative difference and a cooperative advantage in the marketplace. Many of the organizers and leaders in the various programs include alumni. The relationship with the center does not end at convocation, and some graduates have continued to join the faculty of the master's, graduate, and certificate programs or speak during educational events and courses. In addition to special courses, symposia, and field trips, ICCM has also become a major research center for cooperatives, producing new management tools such as the Co-op Index Tool, a number of working papers and case studies, and books based on symposia proceedings. 
The ICCM relies on alumni to not only further the work of the center, but to promote and build connections through their regional cooperative communities. As the ICCM enters its third decade, the influence of earlier cohorts has started to develop. Two alumni, the author, fourth cohort, and Urban Crowell, third cohort, have joined the faculty of the program. Some larger organizations, such as the Cooperators and Van City Credit Union, have generations of graduates spread throughout their departments and leadership. The reach of the ICCM alumni reaches beyond the individual co-ops, as some graduates have moved deeper into the cooperative community in cooperative development centers, trade associations, and international work. Faculty and staff hold leadership positions in 17 national and international cooperative organizations. We are Moses Cody's grandchildren. The International Center for Cooperative Management was founded to meet a core need for our cooperatives, create a new way of managing cooperative enterprises that are in line with the values, ethics, and principles of those organizations and the cooperative identity. Its programming, through symposia, study tours, and four-credit courses, have reached over 1,200 participants and 400 organizations in more than 50 countries. A lot of co-op education focuses on the role of directors and members, but, with perhaps the exception of the worker co-op sector, tends to be quiet on management. However, without the focus of a co-op-centric management style, co-ops are doomed to struggle as they find a way in an increasingly competitive environment to create a clear cooperative difference. The bigger danger is that co-ops scale without planning or attending to their principles and succumb to the mimetic isomorphic effects of trying to play by their investor-owned competitors' rules. That race to the bottom will undermine cooperatives. In reflecting on the two-day celebration of everything the center has become and the impact it has had, Tom Webb made the following comment, quote, Never has this program been so important. We are living in turbulent times. Income inequality is spawning a host of troubling problems, health care, housing, education, food, security, among others. Climate change is deepening and climate change deniers are resisting altering course. Our economy is producing enormous wealth and incomes for the 20% who own more than 75% of the wealth, while 50% share 1.4%. There is a mounting climate of fear and anger, especially among young people. We can and must do all that we can to build a better economy, a cooperative economy that serves people and communities rather than capital. End quote. For many in the program, Tom Webb is a mentor, and we are his cooperative children. The program developed from his inspiration of the Antigonish movement Tom's passion to help co-ops truly work according to their values and principles, and a dedicated team of like-minded academics, center staff, and members of the cooperative community to build a vibrant and dynamic program and a new management paradigm that aligns with the cooperative identity. Moses Cody encouraged the people in the Maritimes to be masters of their own destiny, with the slogan, To Pu Le Faire. Today, Cody's dream and message live on in the alumni and current students of the ICCM, spreading well beyond the Maritimes to co-ops and communities on every continent. Registration for the 2024 cohort is now open with application deadline of May 31st. Contact the ICCM for more information at cme at smu.ca or register for an information webinar on the smu.ca website.